Memphis Police Director Mike Rawlings says he is sickened that a Memphis officer kidnapped and murdered a man while on duty. Good evening, everyone. I'm Katina Rankin. And I'm Richard Ransom. Former officer Patrick Ferguson made his first appearance in court today after admitting to killing Robert Howard. Local 24 News reporter Jenny DePrizio with what she's learned about the crime. Patrick Ferguson was immediately fired from the Memphis Police Department. He'd only been on the department since 2018. The Memphis Police Director says by looking through his file, there was no indication he would commit a crime like this. It is tragic. It's, it's, it's a horrific event. According to police records, Robert Howard was killed by Patrick Ferguson while Ferguson was on duty as a Memphis police officer. Howard was first reported missing January 6th. He was last seen on Mark Twain Street. Howard's girlfriend says she used an app that tracked his phone to an area near Lamar and Shelby Drive. Investigators say evidence showed Ferguson forced Howard into the back of his squad car and later killed him. What's believed to be his body was found yesterday near the Wolf River. Howard is the father of three young children. MPD Director Mike Rawlings says he feels for the family. Our hearts and prayers go out to you. Uh, it is tragic that a young man uh, that has young children uh, has been murdered, especially when he's been murdered by a Memphis police officer. Ferguson worked as an officer at the Tillman Precinct. One of Howard's cousins says the motive for the murder may have been jealousy. He was reacting to a fellow Tillman Station officer leaving him for Howard. He knew he wasn't going to get a back. He would rather stoop so low to take my cousin's life. Now, I just want the family in our community to know that, that this is unacceptable. Is horrific, is one of the most heinous things that I've witnessed, and that this individual does not represent the men and women of the Memphis Police Department. In addition to Ferguson, a second man, Joshua Rogers, is facing charges accused of helping Ferguson move the body. Director Rawling says the past year has been difficult when it comes to police and community relations, and having an officer on duty commit murder doesn't help. Obviously, this uh, further challenges uh, the, the work we've been doing to uh, build trust within our community. I mean, we have a, a police officer uh, that has, uh, you know, committed a heinous act uh, that further widens this gap between, you know, law enforcement and our community. Jenny DePrizio, Local 24 News.